Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial today with the Putnam County District Library. Today I'm going to be talking you through connecting Bluetooth. So I just want to share, I found a lot of this information on a website called tutorialspoint.com. Um, so you can check that out if you want further information. I thought it was a great source. Um, it was, once again, it was tutorialspoint.com. Um, so what is Bluetooth? Bluetooth is a short range network technology that allows the wireless exchange of data between different devices. Short range network technology that allows the wireless exchange of data between different devices. So what does that mean? Um, it means that for you, you can use Bluetooth to connect your wireless devices in order to transmit data, AKA music, audiobooks, phone calls, through wireless speakers or headphones, um, et cetera. So Bluetooth was actually created in 1999, so it's a lot older than I thought it was. Um, and Bluetooth is audio only. So Bluetooth is not used for video um, transferring. You can't send a video using Bluetooth, but you can use Bluetooth for audio to get audio onto a wireless device. So when Bluetooth devices connect, it's called pairing. You may have seen or heard that word before. Pairing is the word they use to mean that a Bluetooth device, say a set of um, earbuds, like I'm going to show you here in a second, and a cell phone, when they connect with each other, they call it pairing. So Bluetooth is different from Wi-Fi um, in a couple ways. It uses less power, so it drains your battery, um, I think, less over time. There is a shorter range before it loses connection. Um, it may be something up to like 10 feet is all the farther away you can get from your device um, before it loses connection. And it is a little bit less secure than Wi-Fi, um, but it, it does use less power. So that's, that's a big benefit to it. So the uses for Bluetooth, why would you use it? What would you use it for? Well, laptops, iPads, and other portable devices use, can use Bluetooth. Smartphones can use Bluetooth. Um, printers, wireless, like mouses, and wireless keyboards all use Bluetooth. So if you are printing things from your printer without having to plug your laptop or your desktop into that printer, you are already using Bluetooth. You can also use Bluetooth in your car if it's Bluetooth enabled, which is pretty neat. So if you have, say, an audiobook or music you want to listen to, you don't have to listen to it through your phone speakers. Um, you may be able to use it through your car speakers. So that's kind of neat. Um, and then, of course, you can use it in wireless headphones or wireless speakers or wireless earbuds like I'm going to show you here in a second. So I will be showing you an example of wireless earbuds, and there are no cords. You'll see they're just a little earbud with no cord that connects it into a port. And my phone, I think this is an Apple, um, maybe an iPhone 7 uh, or an 8, doesn't have a port for headphones anymore. So I have to use the wireless one. So as you're getting a newer and newer phone, they've actually phased out the audio jack port. So you can't connect headphones with a cord. You have to go wireless. Um, so let's get started. So one real life example I can give you for using Bluetooth um, would be with wireless headphones. For example, like these that I got from Target last week so these are my little bluetooth earbuds and they're sitting in their case so not all bluetooth devices are going to be exactly the same but no matter what a bluetooth device is going to need to pair with a smartphone like this one so um, in the case of the head the earbuds excuse me in the case of the earbuds the case charges them they're charging while they're sitting in the case and then there's a port on the back of the case that I use to charge the case itself. So when the case is fully charged, which I can tell that it is, it is fully charged because of those four white lights there, the case will actually charge the earbuds. So I could use the earbuds until they, their battery is dead. I could put them back in the case. It would re recharge them for me. So it's kind of this self-sustaining uh, system a bit. So whether you have Bluetooth earbuds like this or Bluetooth headphones um, of a different sort or even a Bluetooth speaker. Um, there, This is all going to be basically the same process. So if they are earbuds or something that comes with a case, then the case gives the indication of charge. Like I said here, those four white lights, I know that my case 
and my earbuds this is it they're fully charged um, so you want to make sure that when you're getting ready to pair your Bluetooth speakers or, or earbuds or whatever you might be with your phone, you want to make sure that these have a good charge on them. If not full, at least mostly charged. And then um, in the case of the earbuds, I'm actually going to take them out of the case. Taking them out of the case means indicates to them that I'm going to use them or get ready to pair them. And so earbuds, when it blinks red and white like that, they're ready to pair. I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to open up my settings and then within settings, here I'll show you in the list. So my settings opens up and Bluetooth is that third option. So I click on Bluetooth and then um, you should see the name of the device listed here in my devices. As long as Bluetooth is turned on and, it's, and it shows green, the tab is green, that means that it is now discoverable as this device, as a Bluetooth enabled device. So my devices are showing up here as Heyday earbuds. This can be a little bit tricky. You want to make sure that you're looking for, sometimes they just give the brand name. So the brand name is Heyday. So that's how they're showing up as Heyday earbuds. So I'm just going to click on that bar. And there it says connected. So now I can go in and open up my music or my audiobook on my phone and pop these little guys in my ear, ears, I guess, and um, I can listen to my stuff through my earbuds instead of playing it through the phone's speakers. So occasionally you will see, um, like when I was experimenting with this when I first got these, um, here it'll say, instead of saying connected, sometimes it'll say connection unsuccessful. That's because I actually had the earbuds still in the case which meant I hadn't give them the signal that they needed to be ready to pair. So like I said, if I take them out, that means that tells them that I'm going to be pairing. And there was that little flashing light that said they were ready to pair. So usually if there's, if it says connection successful, um, you just need to go back through and make sure that you're doing everything that the instructions say for your device in order to pair successfully. As long as you've um, crossed your T's and dotted your I's with your, set up it they should pair successfully um it's a pretty simple simple process